Yours is cooler than mine. Man, they sent me the cheapest version of the cell phone. They didn't give me the good one. I want to upgrade. Oh, uh, man, I'll call them and say, can I get the uh, better version of the cell phone that works for, uh, that you get with food stamps or anything? Because this thing is hard to deal with. It takes forever to load. You have to click it like 50 times just to get the message across. I didn't know you could get a cell phone like that. Oh. Talk to them. Order a free cell phone from the government. You get this little dinky one. Everybody else gets the badass uh, flat screen Android. And I get this little dinky thing that's hard to use. You know what I'm saying? Look how, look how little that is. I don't know what it is. It's a ZTE light. Q-Link. <laughs> Unbelievable. YouTube things I get. Well, thank God I got to wake up today. Thank God my grandma's okay. Amen. That's all I gotta say. God, God, God took care of me. And a lot of different ways. Took care of my grandma. Amen. Thank God. something I had nothing to do with, or she's just really busy not talking to me. You know, if it's Saturday, I don't know if she has the day off, I guess she's working, I have no idea. I don't know what the deal is with the Red Cross, I guess it's Monday through Saturday, I'm not sure. Or you have probably options and stuff like that. Maybe she went out to eat with a bunch of people from Red Cross, I don't know. She's been like all kinds of places, North Carolina, everything works for Red Cross. So, she's got some experience. Maybe it'll help her. Anyway, she says she wants to quit the Red Cross. Maybe she can just tell them, look, I work in like the state I live in, and that's it. You know what I mean? So, I don't know what's going to happen. And. That girl was on my Facebook, probably telling her that uh, I was asking her for all kinds of stuff and whatever, and lying and everything. <laughs> but whatever, I guess it's a girl. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy or whatever, but whoever it is is lying. A lot. But this is a girl I met somewhere else on some other site. I forget what it's called. But, uh, this chick mentioned it, and she's not talking to me either. A friend of mine on Facebook, on your Facebook. But whatever, she wants a relationship with me or whatever. I don't know. She was in California. So, the whole thing is, I haven't had much of luck with chicks from other states yet. So, except for with Elizabeth. Mostly, she keeps getting pissed off at me because she says she has... She had a lot of problems with her ex-boyfriend or whatever. I don't know. But she was trying to be a nun. I guess she quit trying to be a nun to be with him. And she's got this really interesting tattoo on her shoulder. I don't know what it means. But it's like... looks like blood and stuff. I don't know. Maybe it's roses or something. I can't tell. I asked her to take a picture of it. Like, real close. So I could see it. But she didn't. She just took a picture of it basically the best she could, or she's laying in bed, or whatever, I don't know, I don't know what this girl Elizabeth, uh, she's a woman, she's smart, she's interesting, and I just hope she's not getting back with her idiot ex who treated her like shit, but she wrote to me that I loved him, I love him, and instead of I loved, so I don't know, maybe she's trying to get back with him or something, I don't know what the deal is, girls do that shit. Boyfriend treats him like shit. They fall in love and they just want to be with him again. But now, to say, never just never let anybody treat you bad and then get away with it and forgive them completely. And she 
she was trying to call me beat her up and treat her like shit, so I hope she don't get back to him. But if she does, you know, a lot of girls end up staying in relationships and they get beat and made to stay home and all kinds of shit. So, I don't know why. Why women do with shit like that. Alright. Anybody do that to my sisters, I fuck them up. My sister's not, Helen wouldn't tell me, but I'd beat their ass. That's why Helen probably wouldn't tell me, but if somebody treated her like shit, be rough. I'd probably find, figure it out eventually. Shit, he better, better turn himself in before I get to his ass. I'm gonna beat his ass. Especially with Helen and Julie. Jeez, Mark treats Julie really well, but the whole thing is she's my big sister, and I wish she'd tell me stuff, I can handle it, she thinks I can't handle stuff anymore, you know, I, anyway, I'm trying to, uh, like, style and profile them a lot, grandma's got them a lot, <laughs> and she likes mine, no, no, she's fine, I'm gonna try and get her on the phone again, but anyway, whole point is, I'm just trying not to be an asshole to everybody, hold on, I gotta put you down, myself, dude. Anyway, a friend of mine's playing video games. Alright, well, I'm going to end this at seven minutes, so I hope I can get it to go to, through on YouTube. Alright. I forgot what I was talking about on this one. I'm going to have to rewatch it so I can figure it out. Anyhow, I got four, five, four, three, two, one, zero.